As it turns out, we were wrong, and Elon Musk has not abandoned Twitter yet. Elon has prepared and proposed a new deal to the board of Twitter, and if accepted, he will pay 75% of the price that was agreed upon. And within this mess, Elon Musk has revealed that Bill Gates created companies to anonymously come after him. With that, Breitbart revealed that with Gates, other personalities like George Soros have been spending money to try and bring Twitter down if Elon buys it. But why? Well, as you know, there is a giant battle between Elon Musk and the board of Twitter. For now, no one knows who will own Twitter. It's not decided yet. Because since Elon Musk knows perfectly well the real potential of this social media platform, he is not willing to pay more than 75% of the original price. Musk is trying to find other ways to buy Twitter, and this offer was rejected by the Twitter board because they want to get the money that was agreed already. And of course, Elon Musk has created giant changes within social media platforms already, but it seems like a lot of people, including Bill Gates, are not happy with Musk's recent activities. This attempt by Gates on Musk was uncovered by Breitbart News, which reported from research from the Foundation for Freedom Online. The FFO looked over public filings and found hundreds of millions of dollars in funding to anti-Musk organizations. 26 of these companies signed an intimidation letter which threatened to destroy Twitter's revenue if Musk reversed the censorship policies to enact the free speech principles he was talking about. In response to this letter, Musk took to Twitter, of course, and asked his gigantic following of 94 million to uncover the findings behind them. Adding to that, Musk highlighted one group which caught his interest, namely Accountable Tech, and tweeted, I wonder who funds them? There was a Washington Free Beacon investigation into Accountable Tech, attempting to answer Musk's question on where their funding came from, and after visiting their office in Washington, they came to the stunning conclusion that the company didn't actually exist. What Accountable Tech really was in the end was a registered trade name for the North Fund, a shape-shifting non-profit group that uses aliases to push a political narrative from a shell office in Washington, D.C. However, despite technically not even existing, it was found that it was backed by hundreds of millions of dollars from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation regardless. According to the FFO's research, since 2008, the Gates Foundation grantee lists show $457 million given away in 102 separate cash grants. These secretive donations to what some have called sock puppet companies all seem to be part of Gates' attempts to perform philanthropy in a more underhanded way. And with Elon Musk now looking to undo the censorship policies on Twitter, as well as some other actions which get in the way of Gates' plans, it seems that this is one move of many of Gates to fund a NGO army to try to stop Musk in his tracks. Moreover, out of the 26 companies which signed the intimidation letter and attempted to harm Twitter, a whopping 11 of them were found to be linked back solely to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. However, it was later revealed that in this fight, Gates is not the only one funding to keep Twitter's censorship policies either. According to the report by FFO, some of the groups have been found to be either tied or otherwise funded by some other powerful people, including the philanthropist George Soros. According to the companies who were contacted by the groups attempting to dissuade them from doing business with Twitter, the letter can be summarized in the following quote, Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter will further toxify our information ecosystem and be a direct threat to public safety, especially among those most vulnerable and marginalized. Naturally, Musk did respond to it all, first tweeting, Who funds these organizations that want to control your access to information? Alongside his plea to his followers to perform a little investigative work on the source of funding, and of course, the name everyone is talking about is Bill Gates. To say Musk doesn't appear to be terribly rattled by the attempts might be an understatement at this point. This may be because, as it has been both speculated and vaguely alluded to by Musk in interviews, that the ultimate goal was to change Twitter from getting its revenue from the sponsorship model. As in, instead of harvesting and selling data, Twitter would be a paid-for service, which means it's unclear how much of a threat it is to persuade companies that are doing business with the platform to abandon Twitter. This may do nothing but spur on Musk's already established ideas. However, if Musk wasn't genuine about these plans or doesn't feel ready to actualize them, then a letter like this might cause Musk to backtrack on his anti-censorship policies. So, the ball is now in Musk's court. It has been speculated and vaguely alluded to by Musk in interviews that the ultimate goal was to transform Twitter's revenue to a sponsorship model. And if Musk does it, then the letter signed by these companies threatening Twitter may do nothing but spur on Musk's already established ideas. However, if Musk wasn't genuine about these plans or doesn't feel ready to actualize them, then a letter like this might cause Musk to backtrack on his anti-censorship policies. 
with a Twitter deal still continuing to be on hold until the amount of bots on the social media platform can be ascertained. We can't even begin to guess what Musk might decide to do with Twitter once it is in his hands and what, if any, effects such a letter might have on his plans. In fact, since Elon Musk refused to pay $44 billion and the transaction failed, it also affected Twitter shares, which are not doing great for now. With that, the two billionaires had another feud when Gates went after Musk and indirectly cast doubt about the Twitter plans. Gates holds the opinion that social media needs to be better controlled, as, in his own words, when you let people communicate, you have to deal with the fact that certain incorrect things that are very titillating can spread very rapidly compared to the truth. Gates expresses immense worries about the amount of misinformation which could spread on the social media platform and thinks that things shouldn't be just left to take their own course, which, in a lot of ways, could be interpreted as Musk's plan of action. So, in the mess, if we look at the recent history, we can say for sure that Elon Musk and Bill Gates are not the best of friends, and it seems like this situation is getting more tense every day. So, who knows what will happen? That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe.